Okay, crate training your puppy. Now, this is a crate right here, and the biggest mistake people make when they're crate training their puppy is they make it a negative thing. Crate training is a positive thing. It's something a lot of fun. And one of the ways I like to start off is by throwing a piece of food in, having the dog turn around, and understand the dog can come back out just like that. We're not playing gotcha. A mistake that so many people make is let the dog go in the crate and shut the door right away, okay? We want to make it a positive thing. So again, we take the treat, throw it in, turns around, very, very good. That's a good boy. If you notice here, I'm always giving the dog the treat for going in the crate, just like that, okay? Now over the course of time, a couple, maybe a couple, for, you know, first day, all you're gonna do is let the puppy just turn around and come back out of the crate. But after the first day, we're gonna shut the door, maybe 10 or 15 seconds, open the crate, feed the dog right in the crate, and let the, pup, and let the puppy out, just like that, okay? That's the second, or maybe that's the second day. Okay, one more time, throw a piece of food in there, shut the door, maybe the third day, a minute, two minutes, three minutes, you start increasing the amount of time. Maybe we even latch the door just like that. Maybe even give the dog a treat inside here. But all the treats, all the positive stuff happens inside. Okay, just like that. Maybe after three or four minutes again, open the door, okay, puppy comes out. We'll pet the puppy, okay, but it's really important that all, every time you reward the puppy with a treat, everything is done inside here, okay? After four or five days, now you could start lengthening the amount of time. At the same time, what you might find yourself doing is just pointing the puppy to go inside there. Maybe you shut the door. Again, reward the puppy. So we're not actually baiting the puppy to go in. We're actually sending him in, turning around, shutting the door, feeding him. Now we start walking away for 15 minutes, a half hour, maybe you know the fourth or fifth day. And you can kind of see how we're building up this amount of time. But again, we open up the door, reward him, Boom, let him out, okay? Just like that. Over the course of time, over the next maybe you know, day or two, you can start leaving the dog in the crate for you know, an hour or two hours. And you, know, you just wanna make sure that, that, that everything is you know, kept really, really super, super positive with him. But always make sure when you open the door uh, that you reward him with that treat right when you open the door and let the puppy out. And most importantly, when you let the puppy out of the crate, he always has to be let outside because crate training is, is, is part of housebreaking, and uh, that's very, very important. So again, this whole thing, you know, um, from what I just told you, roughly about, about a week. Don't forget, a well-trained dog makes for a happy home. This puppy training tip has been brought to you by the good folks at Bill Jack.